Precipitable water. Precipitable water is a useful quantity in thermodynamics, and we'll talk about its implications and its uses in another video. Precipitable water is defined as the depth of water that would be obtained if all the water vapour in a column of air were condensed out, and that's from the surface to the top of the atmosphere, however we might define that. So the precipitable water then, capital P subscript V, is equal to the integral from the surface to some height z in the atmosphere of the density of water vapour, where the density of water vapour is defined as the mass of the vapour per unit volume. And you can see a unit volume defined there on the right, a 1 metre by 1 metre square area, and then integrated through depth. We can apply the hydrostatic equation, dp dz is equal to minus rho g, to our definition, our integral, and replace dz in that integral by dp, remembering that pressure is something that's measured quite naturally by balloons. So now the definition of precipital water, p subscript v is equal to the integral from p1 to p2, where p1 is going to be greater than p2, of rho v, the density of water vapour, over rho, the density of air, by g, by dp. We can then substitute for rho v and rho using the definitions of density, mass divided through by volume, and the volumes of course will cancel. And we end up with rho v on rho is equal to mv on mt, the total mass of air, which is a definition of the specific humidity in kilograms per kilogram. We've seen in another video that we can approximate the specific humidity by the mixing ratio with an error typically of about 4%. And so the precipitable water, the total amount of water vapour in a column of atmosphere, is equal to minus 1 on g, the integral from p1 to p2 of r dp. And so what we're doing in calculating precipitable water is just adding up the contributions through each slab of pressure of the mixing ratio. The units are given by the equation as kilograms per metre squared, but the preferred units of rainfall are millimetres. Rain is measured in millimetres. And the conversion between the two is that one millimetre of rainfall is equal to one kilogram per metre squared. But note, typically, we're given the value of precipital water in tenths of a millimetre. 